Hey guys, what's up? Sermon 11 here. Today I will be doing the top 10 shows of 2013. Top 10 TV shows, if I didn't say that. I thought I said shows, I don't know. I'm messing up already, let's go. So, um, <clears throat> before I start, I'm going to say a little bit um, about TV and whatever, and then I'll get into the shows, but basically what you watch on TV and what I watch on TV are probably two different things, and I know some people... I guess they're able to do this where they can do a top 10 list where it's like all these shows across all these different channels, but I don't watch all that stuff. So there's no The Walking Dead or Breaking Bad on this list, not even Game of Thrones. I was going to try to watch them, but I won't because they they have hour-long episodes and that's too much work. And I think Game of Thrones is even over an hour, and then sometimes The Walking Dead is over an hour. I don't know about Breaking Bad. I don't even know what channel Breaking Bad was on. But uh, if I put too, if I put an effort into watching something that long, it's gonna be an anime. <clears throat> I watched the first two episodes of The Walking Dead. It's a nice show, and my favorite character was the Asian guy. But I gave up after that, and I went back to anime. I would like to get into it, but I heard it's not even um directly adapted. I know there are tons of fans of the show and everything. But I prefer my works, not my works, I prefer the things I watch to be directly adapted. Or if they do change some things, it won't affect the plot or anything. And I don't know, I just feel like they um, they have changed a few things, so I don't know if I should watch that or not. Um, plus, they don't re-air any of these shows on TV, I think. And if they did that, I would watch it. I don't have a channel for Game of Thrones. I think we got rid of that channel, I think it's HBO. And then... Um, the Walking Dead, it's on AMC or something. They don't do reruns. They air a new episode and then they show it like six or seven times within um, the next ten hours or something. And then they don't air it again. So, yeah. I don't normally watch that channel, so I don't even, I don't even know when they uh, re-air it, if they even do. Like, I, I feel like The Walking Dead should just be like a thing they air every day. You know, they can have a few few episodes or something i mean it's making you it's making all this money for you you should you know air it more so more people can get into it i don't know but i fly through i'm telling you i fly through recordings um i've seen the ending of breaking bad so and what i was saying is like if i recorded it on tv i'd probably wa be more inclined to watch it but if i have to go to like on netflix or something to watch it myself i'm not gonna do it but if it's on tv i'll watch it it's kind of weird. I don't have Netflix on my TV, so if you understand. Um, and I've seen the ending of Breaking Bad. It was on YouTube. I watched it, whatever. And a few anime reviewers like these shows. <laughs> but I'm talking too much about all this, I guess. And I was totally going to pick up Mighty, Mighty Med, but I didn't want to watch an hour-long episode. And it, that seems like a theme with me. It, it just seemed kind of lame, because I'm still kind of watching some Disney shows and stuff. It has good intro by Adam Hicks, but, you know, if Adam Hicks wants to go anywhere with his rap career, he might want to get away from Disney. And uh, Disney owns Marvel, and I almost wish they would uh, they would have used some of those characters, but that's also kind of lame, so no. Bad idea, Melvin. I, I don't know. If you understand what I'm trying to say, you can look into it, but, you know... Um, for Mighty Man, they're making up all these making up all these superheroes. They're not using any Marvel stuff, and they have like a whole Marvel um, universe to go go through. I don't know. They could have made like a cartoon or something that might have made more sense. And I know Good Luck Charlie is ending, but I guess Ant Farm is ending too, since these two are the main characters. You know, you have um, I don't even know the name, Bradley Stephen Perry, and then the short kid who got pissed off because like. Uh, People were calling him a little kid or something, and he's like, I'm 15 or 16. I think he was cursing, too. I don't know. He was just mad. And, um, yeah. The thing with comedy shows is that, like, if you're an actor, you normally don't have a main role on two shows. So, yeah, these shows are ending. I actually found enough shows to do this list, so here we go. After four minutes. I'm going to try to rush through this because I don't want this to be, like, 20 minutes. Or I know it's going to be 20 minutes. Number 10. Super Ninjas. I did a review over this once it ended. I think this show, it originally felt like they put hard work into it, you know, into season one. But after that, it kind of sucked. They 
introduced all these villains and they continued to do that and keeping only one villain a constant um if you want to do a show like this you got to make it good keeping only one villain i don't even know what i was trying to say there but um i would think it would be better to keep one villain to be constant and um have like an overarching plot involving involving that villain or um yeah i guess that makes sense um yeah yeah i think that makes sense so um yeah this show was lame i'm pretty sure they did some training for this show but the fights looked fake um if you make a fight look real i'll definitely watch your show despite how bad the plot is and Nick gave it little episodes to work with in its final season. And it, it ended on a cliffhanger, but in the end it got canceled. And that was probably best since it got terrible ratings. Like, I was looking at what Nick and Moore said, and he was surprised that they even got a season two because the ratings for season one were, were really bad. Season one was all right. And then season two happened, and they, they just handled some of the things in the show, like, very, in a silly way. So, I didn't really like it. So, number ten, Super Ninja. Number nine, Sam and Cat. Originally, this was going to be at the bottom, but I found a show worse than it. <coughs> Super Ninjas. And I did a rant about Sam and Cat. Actually, people liked the rant at first, but I guess more fans of the show came in there. They're like, hey, what the heck is this? And then they started disliking the video. So now, like, the dislikes are more than the likes, but I really don't care. People are still watching it, so whatever. Ariana Grande is awesome, but Dan Warp took two of his shows which were crap in their final seasons and he mixed them together into one with babysitting it's a dumb concept just saying I won't be too harsh on the show on this video I just don't like this show I'm just watching it to watch it I'm just trying to be consistent with his works maybe it'll get better so far it hasn't um, I'm watching like an episode of Sam and Cat in a day because I can watch like a week of TV in one day which I'm trying to get caught up on so I can do the the top 10 anime and top 10 um, cartoons because Ben 10 I heard the special was really good and I saw a little bit of it and it looks really good so I don't know if Ben 10 is going to be higher on the list or lower on the list I'm trying to see but I don't know if I'll make it by the end of the year and that's kind of where I want to stop but I'll, I'll try so as I was saying about Sam and Cat I just don't like this show um, I'm just watching it to watch it be consistent just watch the rant if you want to hear like my thoughts on the show and everything. Um, I might leave a link. I probably won't. I'll forget. <laughs> um, number eight, Victorious. This show ended early this year, but I had to include it. Um, I probably had to include it because of the fact that I didn't have enough shows. I kind of just added some stuff. I really don't like to add shows to end in the beginning of the year, but it's whatever. I'm going to be quick with this one. It started off with a good show, but... It's a mix of crap and good stuff. The last episode wasn't even a last episode. It didn't end like a last episode. And I saw it, and I didn't even know it was the last episode. I saw it before. Somehow they aired it before they aired it officially. And then my, my TV recognized it as a new episode, which it was. I watched it, and then this guy put out a review like later. I, I used to watch this guy who reviewed uh, Victorious, and I call it. I don't think he does it anymore. Um... And what was I saying? Yeah, he put out his review like late, so they they aired it and people didn't know about it or something. I don't know. And it's pretty sad that Nick didn't let it in properly, like they what what they did with uh, iCarly. But it's whatever. I mean, yeah, it's victorious. I don't even know how they had that many main characters. How do you have that many main characters in a show? I've seen a show have like a a small number of main characters, like four main characters. I don't like that. But this was like six or seven, right? I'm not even going to count them, but, you know. Uh, so I'm at nine minutes. Number seven. Shake it up. Don't leave the video. <laughs> it's weird waiting, uh, admitting to the internet what I watch. I was actually a big fan of this show in the beginning. Um, I started watching it was when I wasn't feeling too well. I think it was when I was watching one of Co-Provider's top manga videos. This was a few years ago. And then he, he put, like, Battle Royale as, like, one of his top ma mangas or mangas or whatever. And I took a look at Battle Royale, which was on there. And I looked at something that screwed up my head for a few months. Like, 
it was just like some mature content in that manga series and I guess I wasn't able to handle it or something I don't know I just kept thinking about it every day and I was like depressed from that <laughs> this show lifted me out of that mood somewhat like when I was watching it I felt good um, I don't even watch it really because it's not that good but the main reason I put it here is because they did a little thing where the mom got their mom got married and it was like a three or four episode arc and they even kept a new character on the show for a while and it was pretty good since Disney is starting to suck. Um, I bet next year there won't be any comedy shows on here from Nick or Disney. Uh, it's possible, but I'm, I'm not sure. Maybe Sam and Kenneth is still going on. But other than that, this list might go down to a top five or something because I know other shows are ending. Number six, Big Time Rush. Uh-oh, Sermon 11 watches this. Something weird is going on. <laughs> Just kidding. Um... I got into the show by being up all night, and then I think we came home, and I stayed up longer, and I just started watching it when I was bored, and I actually enjoyed it, but what happened this year in this show made me put it high on this list. I'm a sucker for romances no matter what format it's in, and this show had a pretty big revelation this year. Um, their TV slash movie finale was bad. And then some of the last episodes sucked, but overall it's a good show that's probably targeted for girls. Um, yeah, moving on. Number five. Here's a show I can actually put on here. Wendell and Vinny. This is a good show. I'd even say a great show, but anything that's not by Dan Warp won't really make it on Nick. That's what I'm going to say. Rarely does that really happen, you know something that's not made by Dan Schneider goes really far on Nickelodeon. I don't think that happens often at all. So they put Jerry Trainer in a show, and he also had, like, a movie while he was on iCarly, didn't he? he him and um, Jeanette McCurdy did a movie together. He kind of plays the same role as he did on iCarly, but this character is more of a nerd. Um, he's into comics and video games, and then Spencer on iCarly was more into, like, art and sculptures, but he still was kind of a nerd. So his nephew's parents died or something like that, or they didn't want to take care of him. And now he's taking care of taking care of him. I think, it, I think um, they died. I'm not sure. But his sister and his neighbor are the other main characters, the sister and neighbor of Vinny. Yeah, Vinny. He's an adult, Jerry whatever and this show has cursing in it but Nick put it um put it on his main material if that makes any sense uh, they took it off of Nick at night if that helps you understand what I'm trying to say basically they took it off of Nick at night which originally what it was supposed to be on because you know the show has cursing in it but it's not it's just like minor cursing really and they took out the cursing it could be a regular show and then they just put it on Nickelodeon I don't know how they aired it with all the cursing and stuff maybe they aired episodes without cursing because really it, it seems like just like a show. They don't need um, cursing in it. It's not very adult-like. Well, in some scenes with uh, Jerry, you know, they, they try to put a little bit of romance in there. But other than that, it's not that dark of a show. And I thought it was pretty good. It was a really nice show that was honestly better than um, Nick's other shows. But as I said before, anything that's not by Dan Schneider apparently sucks and I put it at five but looking back I think I might like Big Time Rush more but whatever this show got canceled so it's kinda done I think it aired this year and it ended this year but it had a lot of potential it just uh... it just didn't have that audience because it's better than iCarly, it's better than Victorious, it just had better episodes but there wasn't really an audience for it. And when I look online, they didn't really have that many followers, but some people also enjoyed the show just like me. Number four, Good Luck Charlie. This show is always high on the list because there's nothing else to watch. I mean, it's, it's one of the best shows on Disney right now, hands down. And it's kind of sad that it's ending, and a lot of fans are sad about this too. They're messaging the... Um, the people on the show trying to get trying to get them to uh, see if Disney can make another season and even the mom on the show is trying to 
she was uh, saying if you want the show to continue, contact this Disney account. I forgot her name. What what's her name? Uh, Leah Leah something Baker something like that. I don't, I don't want to like mess up her name, so I, I I know it's like Leah. And I would put it with I would put the show with some of Disney's best shows, such as uh, That's So Raven or The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, The Sweet Life on Deck. I think Hannah Montana was a pretty good show until, I don't know, I, I kind of dropped Hannah Montana because someone was like, oh, that's for girls, and I mean, I know some guys probably watched it too, so whatever. I, um, what, yeah, Hannah Montana, I didn't really watch the last part of it, though. I know, like, they started to go off to college, and that's, like, where you gotta cut it, because I don't really think they have shows in college for kids. Not on Disney. They're usually in, like, middle school. And then sometimes they go to high school. But, yeah. I'm not too fond of the new baby on the show, but whatever. You know, too many characters makes it hard to have a scene with each character. I don't know if Victoria's had that problem, because sometimes the actors were not available, or they just weren't on the show. So, yeah. They they weren't in every episode. I keep saying so, yeah. I guess that's going to be my catchphrase for the, all my videos now. Um... Yeah, too many characters make it make it hard to uh, have a scene with each character, and that's this show's problem. If it kept going, I wouldn't be surprised if they had another baby. Apparently, people like that. You know, oh, baby, so cute. I mean, you have Charlie, and Charlie's like the main concept of the show. Good luck, Charlie. You're showing Charlie life lessons and everything. Why would you have another baby? They even made a joke like, good luck, Toby, which they only did for one episode. I'm glad they only did that for one episode. Uh, let me see if I have anything else. You know, um, this show doesn't really stray that far away from its concept because it's just Teddy making video diaries. That's all you have to do. You include that at the end of the episode, and you've basically included the concept of your show. But you have, like, iCarly with the concept of the show within the show, and then some of the episodes aren't even about iCarly or even related to iCarly. I feel like TV shows to be re should be related to their concept. Good Luck Charlie is probably one of the few shows that actually does it well. Just saying. <clears throat> and of course they uh, of course they can't say that the mom or the dad had an operation not to have kids anymore. You know, you can't say that on Disney because it's Disney. But that's what they should do. They should have an operation because they're having too many kids. I don't even know how they can afford all this. It's weird stuff. But I'm thinking about that too realistically. Um, I had some other shows. I'm not, I'm just going to talk about them because I don't know if I have a, a place for them. I, I like watching TMZ. I watch it all the time. Um, they talk about celebrity news and stuff. Some of it is just silly stuff. And then you get to see them joking around the office. And they also do live shows every day of the week, except Saturday and Sunday. Well, you know, like the main part of the week. And, um, yeah, it's a good, good show. Funny people. Nice to see all the reactions. And sometimes they break a lot of stories. And a lot of people don't like TMZ because, like, some of the... they When they um, do articles and stuff, you know you have to give it, like, a shocking title so people click on it and people are getting so mad. And um, they cover celebrities like Justin Bieber a lot, uh, Kim Kardashian. They, like, stalk the Kardashians. It's just, like, some people, they, they cover a lot. It's kind of stalkerish. It, it even says that on their wiki page. So that's kind of why I'm bringing it up. But uh, almost at 20 minutes. Um, I also like watching uh, what's the other show? Wild and Out by Nick Cannon. Um, I like Nick Cannon. He's a cool guy. He uh, he's in everything. He has a lot of stuff. He has a lot of money to like just throw around whatever he wants. And Wild and Out basically um, they just rap and stuff. They rap at each other. There's like two different groups, and they rap at each other, and they try to win a belt. They like rap. They insult each other. There's different stuff, and it's pretty cool. It's a pretty nice show. Um, apparently, it came back. I don't know if it got canceled or it ended, but it came back, and everyone's like all excited and stuff, and I liked it. Uh, it would be cool if it came back next year. I'm not sure if it will. I'm not sure how it works. I don't really watch MTV or VH1, whatever channel it was on. Number three. Key and Peele. 
This show is hilarious. My friend Cameron told me about it, but I never really got into it until my teacher showed us a clip of it in class. I think someone showed it to him. And I watched some of it on YouTube, and I loved it. And they know, like, how many people are watching it on YouTube. That's why they... I think they started putting the clips on their channel, and they're like, we know how much you love Key and Pill, but it would be better if you watched it um, on TV or watched it on Comedy Central or something like that. And the, the only other... Uh, this is the only other Comedy Central show that I've ever watched. I used to watch Futurama because I was like, oh, man, Futurama's making a comeback on Comedy Central, but it sucked when it came back. And um, this show is just so funny. You don't even know. Um, if we're friends on Facebook... Or you follow me on Twitter. I share clips on on this show very often, and it's from two guys who were originally on Mad TV, which is an old Fox show, and they came together. And honestly, it's better than uh, Mad TV, or from what I've seen on Mad TV. Anyways, I haven't watched a lot of Mad TV. I, I just know like it used to be on TV, and some of the sketches didn't look that cool. And these guys are some of the best actors I've seen. There's no sugarcoating. I'm being completely serious. They can do tons of voices and basically become anyone. They go all out with the hair and the costumes and everything. It's just so awesome. They can be great voice actors too, I swear. Just check them out. I mean, they can do a lot. They're very multi-talented, uh, if I do say so myself. Number two, if you didn't see it on the list or you, you wondered where it was, <laughs> America's Got Talent. Normally, number one on the list. Um, it has been, it has been um, dethroned. I'm sorry, I'm messing up. The video's almost over. Whatever. I love this show. If you follow me on Twitter, I tweet the heck out of this show. You know, when it's on air, it's always all the way through. I mean, it's awesome all the way through. And I might try to check out American, American Idol next year, but I doubt it. I don't really like watching American Idol at school because they have, like, two-hour episodes sometimes. I'll watch America's Got Talent, though, but I, I doubt I'll get into American Idol. American Idol is just, eh. But this season of AGT wasn't the best, but I still enjoyed it, and I can't wait for it to come back. It rules my summers. This is what I watch every summer. It's just so good. Um, there's also, I watch the After Buzz show for it. After Buzz is like a channel or whatever where they review various shows. I don't know how they're successful with this. Because they don't get that many views. But they, like, review shows. And they review it for, like, 44 minutes. That's the problem. It's too long of a review. But they have four people talking about the show. Or three. Kind of depends on what show you're looking for. But they talk about a lot of TV shows. And I'm at 22 minutes. Two, two, yeah, I can't talk. 22 minutes. Number one. Drum roll, please. That was my finger. Drum roll you guys like it twisted twisted simply an amazing show you want to know why you want to know why I watch this because Avin Jogia from Victorious is in it I've never had any interest in ABC shows and it's a good thing I got into this you know I'm just watching this because you know there's an actor I know who's in the show it helps me watch it um, I hope this show doesn't drag on like Pretty Little Liars. I've never seen the show, but I know it's long, hour-long episodes for a few seasons. Seems like it would get boring after a while. This show does a good job. Some of the episodes are have cliffhangers. Um, the season one, like the, the big thing in the finale wasn't that surprising. It's kind of predicted. But other than that, like throughout the show, it's been pretty good with the romances and the... Um, complications, I don't know, relationship complications, problems, but basically this kid, uh, he killed his aunt, he comes back, and there's some problems in the town, and it's not just with him. It's fun to come up with theories for this show, but I feel like it's introducing more mysteries than answers, but still, I like Twisted, and I think you should check it out. So that's my top 10 shows of 2013 with two other shows thrown in there. So we call that like a top 12. And um, thank you for watching. You can follow me on Facebook. You can, uh, this doesn't even sound right. You can, you can follow me on Twitter. You can like me on Facebook. But if you want to, if you want to follow me on Facebook, you can try that. <laughs> um, so yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys later in the next video. Peace.